the nightingale, the mark aiken sight. Tonight, Chaya, the queen of heaven, is young in the mean's days. Not to his plate is given, or by the rule the vacant sky, that she shall to a lamp supply a stream of brighter rays. Proctress send the golden ray of a pure light above. Let no foot's flame seduce to stray the gulf for steep like it for charm. But late their music's healing charm may soothe afflicted love. To them by many a grateful song and happy as seasons vote, these laws Olympia's horn belong. Off by yon silver stream we walked, or fixed, Philomolia talked, then if your corpses stood. No seldom that the beechen bores with roofless tower invade, we came, while her enchanting muse the radiant moon above us held. By her clamorous old compared, she fled with solemn shade. Hark, I hear her liquid tone, her eyes beguide my feet, down the red mile of moss or crown, frequent wild thicket next the plain, or half was chalk, winding a lane, which leads to a retreat. Seen the green space on either hand, enlarged it spreads around. Seen the midst, she takes a stand, and one old oak whose awful shade extends her half a level meet, and close in woods profound. Hark, how through many a melting note she now prolongs her lace, how sweetly down the void with float, the breeze the mythic path attends, the stars shine out, the forest bends, the wakeful hiver's grace. Where war art, who chance may bring to the sequestered spot, and then the plaintive sirens sing, or soft treat beneath a bower, and think of heaven's dispossessing power of man's uncertain lot. Think of all the mortal stage, what mournful scenes arise, and ruin waits on kingly rage, often virtue dwells with woe. How many griefs from knowledge flow, how swiftly pleasure flies. O sacred bird, let me at eve us wandering all alone, thy tender counsel of receive, be witness to the pensive airs, and pity nature's common cares, till I forget my own.